The Hertog War Studies program is an intensive two-week course for undergraduates and recent college graduates. I realized that if I wanted to be able to make any meaningful contribution to national security, that it was critical to understand the nature and terms of conflicts that the U.S. has been engaged in. I had some preconceptions about a lot of the stuff we were studying, and I had to get over that quite quickly. But that was really important because part of the reason for doing it is to challenge your assumptions and your beliefs. I've always been really interested in military strategy and civil military relations, but those are very difficult things to study in American academia. I don't think any university can assemble this kind of a course. I was hoping to meet some folks who were passionate about the same issues. I really stretched the amount that I read in this program more than at any university class beforehand and I pushed myself to understand these frameworks in ways that they weren't presented in a traditional university setting. I came in with a pretty good background knowledge, but I didn't have that critical thought background on these issues. That kind of thought process is not something that's very easily taught. It's not something you get everywhere. What I got, which as someone who studies political philosophy, um, was, was really different and so much more gratifying. There's a really good public service ethos here. I believe that I learned something beyond my expectations. I also was really pushed by my classmates who were brilliant and inspiring. I was at Harvard for four years. I was never in a classroom with 20 students more engaged than this one. It makes it less insular to have people from different countries. We have people of so many different backgrounds and uh, language capabilities um, who each bring their own little something. That made me feel as though I was in a truly interdisciplinary setting. A lot of us come from not only different schools and you know backgrounds but also just different majors and I think the War Studies program and um, the Kagans have done an amazing job of selecting students who all bring something unique to the table. They've definitely forced me to raise my game a lot and pushed me to work a lot harder and to sort of be a better thinker. The cooperative rather than competitive atmosphere that we have here at the Hurtog War Studies program um, was really helpful for me, um, but it also demonstrated that that's kind of the best way to do learning. It reminds me and inspires me that um, you can continue to have these conversations for the rest of your life, even after you've graduated from college. The instructors have really asked us to focus on why people made decisions. What's really nice is that we have a, a variety, a broad variety of backgrounds in our instructors. The benefit of their experiences is crucial. They have perspectives from not only tactical views on the ground, but from the campaign planning process that really transcend what we as people living in the U.S. have access to. General Dubik, who's a career infantryman, who really gives us the practitioner's perspective. Our instructors, with, with all the depth of knowledge I just mentioned, aren't interested in lecturing us. They're interested in us having really good conversations. They'll guide you through to make the conclusion on your own. So we're really lucky to have um, some really experienced guest speakers. We have been visited by Generals Petraeus and McChrystal, as well as Ambassador Ryan Crocker. One of my favorite days was going to Gettysburg and doing a staff ride, which is going to see terrain where a battle happened and really imagining how it was laid out. And General John Allen joined us, uh, a career Marine general and a Civil War military history buff, and really talked us through how several different commanders on the Union and Confederate sides were thinking about this. And he was really only able to do this because he has 30 years of command experience himself. Personally, it's been just such an amazing and rewarding and humbling experience to learn from these great thinkers and leaders who are, you know, pretty nationally, if not internationally, renowned for their work in this field. I came into this program with a real motivation to go into public service, but I think that this program has guided me in how I can best do so and what a career path might look like. All of us going into our careers feel a lot more confident about being able not only to kind of parse out the different problems that we're going to see in our careers, but think critically, logically, and completely about how to solve them. I think that this program has really helped me envision the different paths that people take to influencing policy in bettering civil military relations and thus bettering international policy. It's sort of the most rigorous sort of intellectual environment I've ever been in and the most rewarding educational environment I've been in and I'll probably never do anything like it again. Definitely apply, 
Don't think that a lack of knowledge about a particular country or a particular language or international relations concepts or even war are going to impede what you can get out of this class. I am very engaged in the Hurt Talk Network. I stay connected with a lot of the alumni. I love attending the advanced programs that happen biannually. This is a great refresher for us, but it also allows us to meet alumni from other years, and that is a great way for us to meet each other now as we're still growing in our careers and then one day be colleagues at very high levels. I think it's such a special program. Um, I think it is incredibly unique in the academic rigor that it offers. Whatever your background is, as long as you're interested in how you can bring your own perspectives to a discussion about conflict theory, um, there is a, a place for you in the program. Without hesitation, recommend it to anyone and everyone, as long as you're prepared to work really hard. It's the best educational experience uh, I've ever had.